Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk about uh, how does it feel to be a Berkeley graduate student and I'm going to talk about like kind of three major steps that you need to do in order like to go through the Berkeley Map Department uh, graduate program and I'm going to again like share all this based on my personal experience and I'm going to like right now currently move to phase three so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ju just uh, share with you guys uh, what was like my phase one and phase two. So for phase one, uh, as, I count, as I kind of call it, is going to be as soon as like when I enter the Berkeley graduate program was to pass a preliminary exam. Uh, so what is a preliminary exam? You can think about this as an entrance exam. Uh, some universities, uh, like for example, like UT Austin or University of California Irvine, uh, they require you to have a uh, like solid knowledge on the basic uh, math subjects such as like algebra, analysis, topology, geometry. Berkeley uh, does it a little bit differently, or used to do. I don't know like what is going on right now. Uh, what they did like during my year, they basically have a Berkeley uh, preliminary examination, which is based on a standard math uh like uh degree on like let's say an average university so uh there are like a bunch of different problems which are based on algebra analysis group theory uh like number theory and stuff and those problems are not like uh jerry type of problems they're going to be like slightly complicated but uh the good thing what berkeley provides so first it provides um the book of those problems uh, so if you're going to just literally take that book and solve all problems from that book you're going to be ready for the exam and another thing that Berkeley provides uh, during the summer before they like first for incoming like graduate students they run like seminars and those seminars uh, focus on like more algebraic side and more on the analysis side and if you're going to attend those seminars with the problems from the book, like you should be fine. So personal, what I did, uh, I studied for that exam over summer. Uh, that was hard to be honest because, uh, like I again, like so my short story, like I did only like two years at the University of California Irvine, so that's why I haven't taken uh, too much classes. So like a lot of stuff that I was uh, learn when I was doing the problem, I was actually learning them. Uh, but what actually helped, helped uh, attending the summer courses. Uh, no, yeah, summer course, like algebra course and analysis course uh, as a preparation for that exam. And also probably the most beneficial thing was that a couple of days before the actual exam, I just met with incoming graduate students and we spent like one or two or three days, I don't remember, just going over problems and, and like asking each other questions. And that probably was like one of the most beneficial uh, experiences before the exam. And um, there is nothing bad if you're going uh, like to fail exam on the first try and first try when you enter the program. Uh, and I think like you had at least like three or four uh, attempts to do the exam. And basically the idea of the exam is uh, to complete that exam, I think within like first two years. Again, like everything that I says is like, you should like divide it in half because First, I don't remember completely, and second one, uh, all these rules might change. So it's just based on my pure memory. Um, okay, and then what I do like about Berkeley that after that preliminary exam, before you like your second phase, which is going to be a qualifying exam, you can, I'm going to say literally, do whatever you want. So usually, um, I'm going to compare to University of California Irvine because I went there uh for the first year students there is usually like a core requirement of classes that you need to take and you need to take this class no matter what and again here i can be wrong but basically the idea not only like at university of California, irvine but at most universities like i feel like i talked to some people about the university of chicago that there are like certain amount of classes that you, need, that you must take and I don't know like if you can skip them or not. It depends also on the exam. So I'm not going to say, but basically what I'm trying to say that in Berkeley, as soon as you pass that exam, you can take whatever class you want. And probably there are going to be some prerequisites, but I, for example, my first year, 
to differential manifolds and algebraic topology. And as I remember, there were like some prerequisites, but I still had two of those classes. And uh, like this, the environment in Berkeley is pretty hands up. So you can do whatever you want as soon as you need to, as soon as you know what you want to do. And like your kind of next milestone is going to be just take different classes, go to different seminars. And again, like no one is controlling you. So you have uh, like advisors that you can go talk to and ask them for the advice, what you should do to be successful in that math graduate program. But overall, like there is like complete freedom. And that's what I really like about Berkeley. And the whole idea of that freedom is that you're going to go uh, like discover different areas, different professors, and then you're going to say like, okay, so I want to study this area. And after that, uh, you will start preparing for a second phase, which is going to be a qualifying exam. Okay, so uh, I feel like I'm going to talk about qualifying exam like in uh, another video because I don't want to make it too long. But this is like a short experience of Berkeley and just being a math graduate student. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, if you like it uh, or slash you have any questions, just uh, ask them below the video. Uh, put the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and see you next time.